you have such a beautiful wife. You must miss her very much. Well, uh, yes, and every day my heart aches for her. Well, I'm sure you know there's a spiritual bond between husband and wife. Even though she's thousands of miles away, she knows how much you love her. <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Dharma? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Why did you make the busboy cry? I didn't make him cry. I just created a safe space for him to get in touch with his feelings. <laughs> Anyway, how's your day going? Well, I'd love to tell you, but it's a little hard to understand. I... Oh, come on, tell me anyway. Okay, this morning, I found a way to use 18 U.S.C. section 2255 to wrangle a dismissal of a spurious habeas petition on these guys we're holding under RICO. Congratulations! Right? <laughs> Greg? Barbara, hi! Didn't know you were in town. Oh, I just got in from Washington. By the way, congratulations on knocking out that habeas petition. Thanks. He wrangled a dismissal. Uh, Barbara, this is my wife, Dharma. Uh, Barbara and I used to work together. Hello. Hi, please join us. Sit. Oh, I don't want to disturb you. I'm just going to grab a sandwich and head back to the office. No, no, no. You should never eat alone. Eating should be a communal experience, you know? Like bathing. <laughs> Okay, I'll just cancel my to-go order. Okay, cool. Okay. I like her. She's so warm and friendly. I can see why you went out with her. Uh, how, how did you know that? Oh, Greg, women know these things. It's partly the way she looked at you, and then partly the way you bent your spoon when I asked her to join us. <laughs> I don't know Greg has ex-girlfriends. I mean, in a way, I'm grateful for his exes. Because they helped make him into the wonderful man that he is today. Heck, for all I know, you taught him that ice cube belly button deal. No, no, actually, we saw that in a movie. Uh, so, when did you two meet? Gee, almost a month ago. Uh and you're married. One month tomorrow. So you got married the day you met. Yeah, it's really a funny story how it worked out. How long were you guys together? Uh, two years. Wow. Yeah. So I guess you finally got over that little commitment problem. Yeah, I sure did. Yeah. You guys broke up because you wanted to get married and you didn't? You know, I think I would like some wine, maybe a carafe, white, red, I don't care. Dharma, um, Greg didn't want to talk about our relationship then. I'm sure he doesn't want to talk about it now. Greg? I think Barbara needs a little closure here. Maybe you should talk about it. I did talk about it. You know, never mind. It's really, it's, it's not that important. Okay. That's it? That's how you guys talked about it? Well, it was very simple. Uh, she wanted to go to Washington, and I didn't want to stand in the way of her career. Well, I might have stayed if you'd asked me to. Greg, how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, I didn't want to be selfish. I didn't want you to stay just for me. Oh, isn't he the sweetest? <laughs> well, I wish he'd been a little more selfish, because I would have stayed. Really? Yes, really. God, I'm so glad we straightened that whole thing out. So, Barbara, when are you going back to Washington? Actually, I'm not. I transferred back here. So, it looks like we'll be working together again. Well, gosh darn it. Here's to ya. When did you get this television, Dharma? It came with Greg. It's part of his past that he never mentioned to me, but here it is, and I just have to deal with it. It's a beauty. Brand new. Probably has the V-chip. Oh, Larry, don't start. He thinks the government is listening to us through the V-chip. No, no. They're watching us through the V-chip. They're listening to us through the smoke detectors. I should have never let him get on the internet. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Greg. 
Greg, how was your day? Oh, you know, nothing worth talking about. Smart boy. He knows what the V-chip stands for. V are watching you. Oh, come on, Greg. You had an amazing day. He wrangled a spurious habeas, and then he ran into your old girlfriend. She's really beautiful, but... I think they're both a little nervous that I was there, but they'll get over it since now they're gonna be working together every ding dong day. <laughs> yep, that was my day. Oh, rice barley treats. And there's more coming out of the oven, Dharma. Would you like to help me? No. Dharma needs a time out. <laughs> so, Greg, must be hard for you federales to cover up your conspiracies now that all those secret documents are floating out there on the internet. Who do you think puts them on the internet, Larry? Of course. Brilliant. Dharma, this is so not like you. No, I can't believe I'm jealous. I'm never jealous. Even when the other kids were jealous, I wasn't jealous. I mean, I wish I could be, but oh my God, I was jealous. I was jealous of their jealousy. Oh, that's sick. Oh my God, I'm a sick person. Hey, remember, when we judge ourselves, we send ourselves to emotional prison. Right? So what is the first thing we do to get rid of negative feelings? I already did all that. I said, hello, jealousy. I embrace and acknowledge the message you are bringing me. Good. And what did jealousy say? He just looked right at me and went... <laughs> all right. Well, don't give up. Don't give up. Uh, this time I'll be you, okay? And you be jealousy, all right? Hello, jealousy. I'm Dharma. Oh! <laughs> See, there's no talking to him. I'm not saying that Oswald wasn't the lone gunman. I'm just saying that the CIA built him specifically for that mission. And when you say built, you mean trained, right? You tell me. It's open. Come in. Hello, all. Hello, oh, Mother, Dad. Hello, new family members. Yeah. Oh, 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 all right, okay, that's enough. So, Ed, how goes the exploitation of the working classes? It's actually ahead of schedule. Now, where's that wedding video we're supposed to be looking at? Coming right up. Gregory, darling, you'll never guess who we ran into last night. Barbara Coldfield. Really? Isn't that nice? Yes, and you'll never guess where she's living now. Right here in my head. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to watch the wedding video. Oh, look, it's Greg and his first wife, Dharma. We'll be right back. Oh, they look so happy. Dharma. Go, Greg. Now everyone knows I'm upset. Dharma, listen to me. I don't want to be with Barbara. Barbara and I broke up because we had lots of problems. No, you didn't. You had one problem, and I fixed it. <laughs> Honey, I married you. If I died, you'd go back to her, right? No. But Greg, she's perfect for you, and how could I be happy in my next life knowing that you were here all alone? I mean, that would hurt me. Fine, I'd go back to her. Oh, I knew now, you just listen to me. I ordered monogrammed cocktail napkins, and what I'm looking at here is a drunken little man relieving himself on a lamppost. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, you, you want to put the flowers down right there. Right there. Down. I said put them down. Down, do you understand? Down. Oh, I'm allergic to dog hair. I get hives. <laughs> I have just the thing for that, actually. It's, uh, it's in here somewhere. I'm sure it is, along with the Holy Grail and the Lindbergh baby. <laughs> Greg, come on. How can you deny she's Miss Wright? You both are lawyers. You both went to Stanford. Your parents belong to the same country club. Dharma, let's not do this. Oh, you both say let's not instead of don't. <laughs> okay. This is a traditional Chinese herbal remedy. Oh, really? What's in it? Seaweed, of course, and uh, some naturally occurring fungi, sheep placenta. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's plenty. You sure? Because it's really terrific stuff. Oh, well. It's very good on rashes and insect bites. It's miraculous on wrinkles. Insect bites? Really? Well, we do have mosquitoes up at the lake. <laughs> There's me. What's this for? Who are you taping this for? Oh. Dharma, Greg, just remember that to everything, there's a season. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to shut up and play cards. 
I can't believe you beat me out of $22. Well, if you can't remember the cards you play, how do you expect to win? <laughs> ah, you're just a shark. What did you take me for? Twenty? Twenty-five dollars? <laughs> okay, we have a lot in common, but... It's perfect for you. Fine. Dharma, it doesn't matter if there's somebody out there who on paper is perfect for me because I love you. Yeah, well, a dog can love a chicken. But eventually, he's gonna want another dog because chickens don't chase cars and all the love in the world won't change that. There's obviously nothing I can say that's gonna make you feel better, so how about this? How about I create a nice, safe space for you to get in touch with your feelings like you did for the busboy? I feel like choking her scrawny little neck until she begs for mercy, and then I say, Mercy, I'll show you mercy, and then I say, I fire! Whoosh! What was that? Feelings. Anyway, I know, I'm sorry, I've just been unloading on you, but I just, you know that old Buddhist saying, seek the headwaters of the river of pain, which is you. No offense. It's just, I thought that if we honestly told each other how we feel, yeah. we wouldn't have to, you know, I don't know, set each other on fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, um, honest. Dharma, uh, Greg is the greatest guy I've ever known, and if I were to be totally honest with you, I'd have to say that, um, I'm still in love with your husband. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs>
Ah, uh, you know, in some cultures, Kitty, wrinkles are considered beautiful on a... I'll keep looking. Margaret, Margaret, I want you to meet bachelor number three. Good looking, loves dogs, speaks French. Bonjour. Hey, thanks for playing our game. I thought he was kind of cute. Barbara, excuse us for a second. Did you spot a good one? No, I didn't spot a good one. Dharma, as unusual as this may sound, I'm not really into picking up guys for my ex-girlfriend with my wife. Do you think you'd have a better shot alone? Why are you doing this? I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm the insane jealous one. All I know is that she's a ricocheting bullet, and I just have to make sure that when she hits a guy, it's not you. I mean, I'm happy to take the bullet for you, but I don't go that way. Okay, one more time. Your little buddy stands behind me, ever so casually. He checks out my hand. He walks over to you, jaunty as can be, whispers in your ear, and then... <laughs> Chin. Wait a minute, are you calling me a cheater? I don't have to call you anything, Ed. The tape speaks for itself. That tape doesn't prove anything. Yeah, right. And all these alien autopsy tapes are just one big elaborate hoax. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. No, Barbara, I think you're just setting your standards a little too high. I mean, let's not forget, Greg's not perfect. You know, I mean, there are some things about him that, well, no one's thrilled about. <laughs> like what? I don't know if you noticed, but he's got this one big, gnarly toe that just looks like it needs its own shoe. See, I thought that was kind of cute. Oh, well, tick tock, let's get you a guy, come on. How about this one? Fatigue. Oh. This one? Irritability, keep it. Why don't we just roll up our sleeves and whip up a whole new batch? Oh, I didn't make it, I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. You mean I could have just gone to the store and bought it? Yeah. Where is the store? <laughs> okay, um, you know the place in Chinatown with the ducks hanging in the window right across from the store where um, ginseng is always on sale? Street names, woman, I need credits. street names. <laughs> so, so after my dad died, I sold the store, went to law school. It was always, always his dream. Okay, nice try, we don't need the whole life story. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> Believe that guy, leather pants? Sorry, I tried to screen him. I guess he slipped through. See, I kind of liked him. Okay, I'm on it. Uh, Dharma, Dharma, wait, wait. Uh, Dad, calm down. I'll meet you there. Listen, our dads are gonna kill each other. I have to leave. Okay, have fun. Uh, Dharma, Dharma, <laughs> promise me you'll stick to this crazy plan and not start a new one until I get back. Honey, I'll be uh, fine. Don't worry about it. Hey, you in the leather pants? Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, when you're done. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, in here. Gregory, I appreciate you taking a moment to settle this little thing. No problem, Dad. That's why the FBI built the crime lab, to get to the bottom of these critical gin rummy disputes. So this is where Big Brother watches us from, huh? Yeah, and can we please do this before he gets back? Okay, gin game. There, see? You cheated. I never cheated on a card game in my life. All right, all right, calm down. Pete, can we find out what he said there? Yeah, no problem. I just got to zoom in and uh, drop out the background noise and see what we got. Edward, why don't you let this guy win a hand? I'm trying to, but the guy's a freaking moron. <laughs> I guess I owe you an apology. Dharma, I am through for the night. All right, well, you know what? I'll pick you up in the morning and we'll hit a couple churches. <laughs> nice guys at churches and sometimes pancakes. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying to help, but I think I'd be more comfortable finding my own guy. Yeah, I understand that. But just remember, this isn't about you. <laughs> 9.30, okay? Actually, make it 8.30 because we can get a couple of joggers on the way. Gotta go. <laughs> Your friend's leaving without you? <laughs> Actually, no, she's not my friend. She's kind of the headwaters of the river, river of pain. pain. How did you know that? My yoga instructor is also a Buddhist master. Really? Yeah. I teach yoga. Hatha or Kundalini? Uh, well, actually, a little of both. Hathalini. <laughs> I'm Dharma. Dharma? As in Dharma, the ultimate truth of all things? No. Oh, well. <laughs> How did you know that? Most people just go, what kind of weird name is that? It's not weird. It's beautiful. Thank you. I'm Sid. Hi, Sid. I 
Actually, it's Siddhartha. Oh, parents hippies. Yeah. Grew up in a genuine commune. Shut up! Yes. Me too. Well, until my dad found this Indian tribe that was taking on new members. Did you get an Indian name? Yeah. Yeah? Crazy man's daughter. <laughs> Be right back. Hi. Hi. Sorry that took so long. That's okay. Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Where's Barbara? Uh, she went home. Did you find Mr. Wright? Yeah, I did. But I'm going home with the man I love. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. Okay, here you go. Ring cut lady, and don't you come back again? Middle of night with your toilet teacher. Oh. Well, wait a minute. I gave him a $50 bill. Sir, what about my change? I said, what about my. Forget it, Ch Kitty. It's Chinatown. Don't do it, young. Young Fang Shogo. Even Tata Sosa. 